effective transport system is the life wire of a sprawling and growing city like Lagos. This is why members of the State House of Assembly are commending Governor Babajide Songolu for his vision in transforming the sector in the states. The Speaker, Muda Shiru Obasa, and his colleagues, Shad and Komion, on Governor Songolu on Tuesday for his effort at completing the state's rail project and expanding transportation through waterways. Let's share the story by TVC Abim News Abimbola Agubi. The desire to make commuting a lot easier for the growing population in Lagos through the introduction of the Red Line Rail projects by the state government is fast becoming a reality as the state governor gradually ramps up work on the completion of the infrastructure. The first business of the day before the state lawmakers as they returned from a six-week recess was to commend the state governor Baba Judith Sonwulu for recent efforts made towards improving transportation system in the state. I read in the papers that the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, was in the U.S. to inspect frames for a red line that is being constructed in Lagos. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that this is a very welcome development. Transportation in Lagos, a mega city, a smart city, goes beyond vehicles. With the daily struggle to move around the state occasioned by traffic congestion, commuters spending hours on end sitting through a defender to bumper situation, the lawmakers are happy that respite is finally coming. The mod modernization of this train service system that we have today and that is coming to our dear state is just a pointer to the continuation of um, the spirit of governance that we've had since 1999. Far away from this country, people that we may complain about traffic from one state to the other. So we think, and I share a sentiment for the fact that the governor has made efforts to secure train that will convey people from one location to another within the state. I think it's commendable and not just a train. It is a new one and that has capacity to move thousands of people and is to relieve people of the harrowing experience that we all, including ourselves. The Red Line is a 37-kilometer track with 11 stations and if launched, will be the first operational metro system in West Africa and the first of its kind in Nigeria. Abimbola Agibi, TVC News, Lagos. For the state government to embark on this kind of audacious uh, projects. I mean, Lagos is always that city, that's the mega city we're talking about, and this is the vision coming alive. It's a state like no other. Um, there's no state in our country that you can compare to Lagos. There's absolutely no state. Lagos is like a country on its own. Lagos is rubbing shoulders with some countries in Africa. Its economy is one of the largest in the continent. So it's a state like no other. And sometimes I ask myself, by the time the, the new port opens, by the time Dango State finishes the work that is doing, at his 650,000 uh, um, um, barrel um, capacity, Refinery. Refinery. Of course, Lagos, the economy of Lagos will be a lot stronger. My only concern is that corridor, what are they doing? Because I raised that question um, um, some time ago with the governor, that what are you going to do? about that corridor because, because trucks will be heading in that direction. Like yeah. Papa, they said they are Papa going to build, said. yes, it will, it will even be worse than our Papa. Given that we no longer do, we no longer move petroleum products through the pipelines because of vandals. Hmm. People will come to Lagos all the way from uh, uh, the, 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 the farthest point in our country to bring, in, to bring, I mean, petrol, to come and lift petrol. It, it will still not, it will not stop. It will continue even with the coming of uh, 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 Dangote. So 
we need to find a way to create alternative routes for people. Otherwise, the people living in that lucky corridor, they will be in trouble. Lucky right up to Aja, they will mm. be in serious trouble. So mm. we must begin to look. We at are. We, we we think that this refinery could come on stream maybe uh, by the first quarter of next year. Mm. If God answers our prayers, then what are we doing? So the city is expanding, the state is expanding in, in all spheres, but the governor has to be one step ahead. One of the laudable things that they've done is this uh, rail project. When I was discussing with the speed of the train mm. with a friend of mine, he said, see, this train will do Lagos to Maiduguri in mm. just about three hours. Mm. Mm. So you can imagine the speed. You know, mm. he said, we'll do Lagos to Maiduguri in about three hours. So it's not like a regular yeah, old lo locomotive. At least you saw inside, you said they, they took a kind of tour inside and it's, it's brand new. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, like uh, we had in the report. It is quite something people should be uh, happy about. And I'm quite impressed. Well, of course, Lagos is different with the lawmakers, the kind of support they have been giving uh, Mr. Governor. Uh, in his strides to change Lagos is uh, commendable and for them to actually dedicate a whole sitting to discuss this and if you take a look at uh, the red line that Lagos is planning it is such that it is going to ease the problems of uh, transportation in Lagos and we were just talking about the what will happen when uh, Dangote refinery opens when uh, other efforts at development uh, takes, uh, take off but the truth is, we should begin to look in the direction of other forms of transportation, like rail, to even move this fuel we are talking about. It is not impossible. If we have good uh, rail, uh, railway I system, think there are even certain up tracks to get to that to refinery. To where mm. we we take the fuel from mm. and where it is needed, because uh, it was like that way we were yeah, growing up. We have, I mean, we know we, the, the idea of seeing trailers with uh, loads. No, no, no. It, it's, it's, I didn't see it going a, up. As recent, young uh, as I am, it's a recent thing. <laughs> I remember when we go to Osho um, uh, Osho uh, Power Line in those days on our way to church. There is a place just across the loop. There, there are times we wait and ah, because mm. trucks carrying goods, especially iron rods, are passing. Mm. But so, I mean, tr and trains, I mean, mm. are yeah. passing. But Coaches. suddenly, you don't find such uh, spectacles again. Mm. Start seeing vehicles mm. on road and take a good look at the road. Damaging the roads. Piling pressure. So, as we begin to talk about rail in the area of moving people, good idea. Son Olu has shown us that it is doable. Other state governors should copy. Probably the rail lines will start uh, linking up gradually.